Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to um, factor this polynomial. All right, we're going to find the factors, find all factors of the poly and zeros. So we'll find the zeros and the factors, all zeros. Zeros, and just for fun, we're going to sketch the graph as well. Okay, sketch the graph. Okay, now to go and factor a polynomial, the key thing is we want to factor it. And what we're given is a um, quartic polynomial um, or a fourth degree polynomial, and we're already given two factors. Now, to find um, factors of a polynomial greater than um, three, uh, we have to check out different ways, and usually we have to use a calculator to find those zeros or the rational zero test um, and a bunch of different methods. But um, hopefully, usually books will give you like two factors, or you can use your calculator to find the easiest real number factors, and then you can find um, or the integer factors, and then you can find the other rational factors um, through a process of synthetic division and other things, which we're going to do now. So our goal is we want to find all the factors. We're given two. Because it's a fourth degree, I know I'm going to have two more factors. So there's going to be two more factors that I need to find. Now, to help me do that, in order to factor, factoring means, means dividing out. Dividing out. Okay? So I want to divide out this vector first. Now, it doesn't matter which order you start, but I'm going to divide this out. Now, to do this, we can use long division or synthetic division. Now, you only can use synthetic division in special cases. All right, synthetic division can only be used when you have x minus k in this form. And since we have a factor or um, on a factor or an expression that is an x minus k form, I'm going to use synthetic division in this case. Okay? So, to do this, um, I'm going to start by finding the zero of this. So I'm going to use k. So I'm going to take 2, and I'm going to plug in 1, negative 11, 41, and negative 61, and 30. And these are my coefficients. So those that are not familiar, coefficients. of our dividend. In this case, our dividend is also slash our polynomial that we're factoring out. Okay, so when we do this, in our synthetic division, you're going to drop down the first one, so we bring that, and we multiply this times 2, and then we have 2. We add these together, and what we have then is going to be negative 9, so we have negative 18. When we add these together then, is we're going to have um, 3, 1, <clears throat> I can't think. It's going to be 3, all right? And right here is going to be 23, okay? And then we take 23 and we're going to have 46. 46, and we're going to add those together. And then what we have then is going to be uh, 4, 15, negative 15. Negative 15, and then multiply that, we have 30, or negative 30, and we get a remainder of 0. Factors are when you can divide out, factors, all right, means dividing out, and you get, should get a remainder of zero. I should add that little caveat. You get a remainder of zero. And we do get a remainder of zero. And so what we have now is this new quotient. Okay? So now what we're going to do is, if I were to write this out, I would have x minus 2 times this quantity right here. Um, and this is our next quotient. This is the quotient. Okay, this is our quotient when we divide it out. So we have um, x cubed minus 9x squared plus 23x minus 15. That would be our new factor. Now, I want to find additional factors. So um, I need to factor out this now, this new quotient, uh, which is a cubic. So I'm going to take my next factor, which is this right here, and I'm going to use synthetic division again. Now, to save a little time, I'm going to move this to the side. Okay. And I'm now going to divide this expression by 5, all right, which is the 0 or the k value there. Now, I'm going to get 1, I get 5, which gives me negative 4. Then I'll have negative 20, which will give me negative 3. And I'll get, um, I'm sorry, not negative 3, positive 3. I was hoping that would be that way. So we get 15, which once again gives us a 0. So that is another factor. We then create is this expression, x minus 2 times x minus 5, 
times the quantity, because this once again is our quotient when we divide it out, okay, of x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now hopefully we can factor this expression, which we can, x minus 3 and x minus 1. And now we have a factored polynomial, okay, which is actually equivalent to this big thing right here. All right, and we can put that in a capital limit. All right, so now I'll just get a little, all right, I'll clone that one. All right, and I'll bring that down here. Are you coming with me? Are you coming with me? Come with me. All right, there. I'm talking to the board. Yes, I'm talking to the board. Okay, so move that over there. And that, my friends, is what this, these two are equivalent of. Okay? Now, we want to find our zeros. And almost we want to sketch this graph. Okay? So, given the factored form of this, find the zeros is very simple. We can set now this equal to zero. And we find our zeros to be x equaling 2, x equaling 5, 3, and 1. We can sketch this graph now by plotting our zeros. Um, we got a 0 at 1, a 0 at 2, a 0 at 3, and a 0 at 5. We know that this is a fourth degree, so my m behaviors are going to rise to the right, rise to the left, because the leading coefficient is positive as well. Each one of these factors has a multiplicity of 1. All right, multiplicity of 1. So each one of these zeros is a multiplicity of 1. 1, so 1. So that means that I'm going to be passing through each one of these. Now, this is just a sketch. Obviously, this would probably go down a lot farther. That's why I don't have any y values indicating how high or how low it goes. All right, but it's just a sketch. It's giving you a rough idea of what this is going to be. And that's our W-shaped graph of this fourth-degree polynomial. All right, so using synthetic division, we went through and factored this polynomial right here, this f of x, and we're able to then find the zeros and then graph it. Hope this helps on future problems, um, and good luck and God bless with that.